Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's make sure the audio is working. Hello. Yep, audio works. Fantastic. Get my water going on here. Good morning. Well, depending on where you live. <laughs> hello, everybody. Day four. That'd be eight. When in day four of the lease option master class. Get my alkaline water going here. And we'll give everybody a minute or so to um, uh, to jump on board. In the meantime, uh, I'm on, I've got my phone as usual here. If you could, let me and we'll give mute that. If you could, every, hey, Peter. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Alan. Oh, so Peter, you're in uh, South Florida. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Alan's here. Uh, so I'll tell you what, as people are coming on board here, uh, give them a minute or two to jump on board. Uh, if you have any questions from the first few days, uh, certainly put them into the uh, into the chat box or the comment box, I should say, on Facebook, and I'll definitely answer those for you while we're waiting for people to jump on board here. Hello, Johnette. Hello, Melanie. And Debbie King Jones. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, so Peter says, yes, I'm in Coral Springs, right next to Parkland, Florida. Okay. I don't think I've been in Coral Springs before. Uh, I may have to look that up on the map. You know, so I think every place in Florida has almost the same name. Coral Springs, uh, Coral Park, St. Coral, St. Petersburg, um, Vero Beach, Coral Beach. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so Alan's asking, is that, yeah, Alan's asking a question. The king is back. Uh, how is the rent for the option, how is the rent for the uh, option buyer for the option E determined? So our lease option calculator actually determines that we'll actually set that. But we use the formula, Alan, of uh, for most houses, not all, but for most houses, we use the formula 0 0.0085 times, uh, you take the sales price times 0 0.0085. That gets you very close to where the payments should be, the PITI, for the property. Now, you do have nuances in there, uh, Alan where you've got maybe higher price houses like uh, 800,000, 900,000, million, 1.2, 1.6. Like we just got a price sheet. We just got a, here's a price sheet for $800,000 house, a 1.6. Um, so on those, you start coming off, you start backing off that 0 0.0085. And it was, so where did the 0 0.0085 come from? Um, it actually came from me having to, back in to the numbers because keep in mind, uh, I didn't have a lease option calculator till a low end last year. Sometime I did all these numbers in my head. So I would go and I would teach three day events and I said, okay, now here's, here's the numbers and blah, blah, blah. And I would do them and people say, well, well how'd you get that number? I'm like, well, I don't know. I just did it. <laughs> so finally I was like, okay, I should probably come up with formulas for how did I come up with these numbers? So I took the numbers I would come up with, and I would, and then I created the mathematical formulas for that. And anyway, uh, so at 0 0.0085 times the sales price, that gets you very close to what the price, what the monthly payment should be. Now the nuances there are very high end homes and very low end homes, which hopefully you're not worth too many of those. But very low end homes like hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand, hundred hundred forty thousand houses, which you really shouldn't be messing with those for lease option. And high end homes. One point, you know, one million, one point two, etc. Uh, do I look at the average rent for the area? Uh, there are occasions where I'll look at that, but that's normally not a factor that I look at. Um, there are times where I'll, I'll take that into account a little bit and say, hey, you know what? According to my formula, the monthly payment should be here, but the rental rate is down here. Okay, I'll, I'll reduce this a little bit to still keep it attractive. But in general, 0 0.0085 times the price. And let me see here, I got more questions here. Wow, got lots of questions, all right. People are jumping on board. 
Uh, Earl, yeah, Earl, I got an email from you that I've not opened yet. I just saw it come through before I got in this before I got in the class. So, um, hey, what's up, Rob? Uh, how long do you give the buyer to refinance, Luke? It's a it, we do twelve month lease options. Now, why would we do twelve month lease options? The reason we do twelve month lease options, and this is for lease option assignment, is when you're talking to the seller. And you're saying we do short term, full price lease options or lease purchasing. When you say it's 12 months and our buyers get financed typically at say month 10, the seller sees a light at the end of the tunnel. They see, okay, um, uh, this is a short term. I'll be cash out within 10 months or 12 months, very short term. So the seller prefers a short term lease purchase. Plus, on the buyer's side, if we're doing a 12-month lease purchase versus a three- or four- or five-year lease purchase, those buyers have to be a higher-quality buyer for us to work with, for us to allow them into the program to help them get finance. We're, so uh, the seller is more apt to do a short-term lease purchase, and the, buy, that they're, they're in, the buyer has to be a higher-quality buyer for us to, uh, to work with them. So good question there. Um, but, uh, uh, Alan, how much of the how much of an argument does the average realtor give a seller after they say after say 120 days should be the I'm sorry, just one second. Now I'm trying to read this. How much of an argument does the average realtor give a seller after say 120 days should the seller choose to rent lease option in California somewhat to fight for full six percent? Um, if I'm understanding uh, your 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 question, Alan. Uh, let me just say that I really don't know. Well, it's very rare for what we do and our interaction with the seller and our communication with the seller and what we do is, is pretty unusual for the agent, the realtor, to give the seller a hard time if they're looking to offer his lease purchase at the same time. Again, I'm not involved in those conversations. The owner is. I'm, I have no part of that conversation. I rarely talk to the agent. Uh, yeah, rarely talk to the agent. Now, if the um, uh, keep in mind the seller has a uh, in most states the seller is going to have an exclusive right to sell a listing agreement with the agent, whereas we're coming with a lease with a lease option, which the the agent doesn't have a contract to do that. Uh, but again, I'm not anti-agent. I'm not um, uh, talking to the agent hardly ever. That's a conversation for the seller to have with uh, with the agent. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 0 0.085, Alan, uh, it's going to get you very, very close to PITI. Again, there are some discrepancies there. Oh, Alan, for a, for a seller to cancel listing with an agent. So um, first of all, when a seller calls us, so let me show you all this. So here, I don't know what that is. So here is some direct mail that came back. Here's some of our postcards we use. How long can you wait with your house sits in the market? How much time has passed already? You see how I'm hitting the pain points? How long can you wait while your house sits in the market? Push, push. <laughs> they got a pain point and I'm pushing it. How much time has passed already? Push, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the pain point. And I'm saying, what if I can get you top dollar, no haggling, or you know, get top, top dollar, no haggling, you have payments coming to you, Repair taken care of, no commission. How? With the lease purchase. Uh, so I send these pieces to, to sellers. Let me can, go back to what that question was. I apologize. Uh, oh, so uh, so when a seller calls me off one of these off one of these mail pieces, uh, I don't uh, I don't even say anything about whether the house is listed or not. But if the seller says, "Hey, the house is listed," how does that work with the agent? Then I say, okay, well, first of all, uh, if at all possible, keep that keep the listing in place uh, because you want to keep that listing in place because that you don't want to cut off that marketing. So you want to talk to your agent about that you're looking to offer as a lease purchase, have that conversation with them, and you know whatever you all work out is between you all, whether you pay them a, a flat fee or whatever. But now if you get a contract, Mr. Seller, a purchase contract, just let us know and we'll stop everything, okay? So... Uh, um, yeah, so I don't ever tell the agent to, I never tell the seller to cancel a listing whew, with the agent. Um, 
so, uh, so I, and again, I never had that conversation with a, I rarely talk to agents. Um, Luke, I was watching last night. What I didn't hear from your students was how many deals they've completed since starting a program. Can you speak to that, please? Yeah. So, uh, a lot of the students that you saw last night were, uh, like within just the last couple of months, uh, whether it be, uh, yeah, like John Wingus, uh, Michael Harris coming up on three months. He just uh, turned a deal in, uh, uh, Hawaii. He's got one or two more, uh, in Ohio that we've gotten applications for. But that, uh, you know, didn't find a good one. What we tend to find, Luke, I, mean, I was just having this conversation with a gentleman uh, uh, out in Phoenix, literally right before this call. And uh, even last night, I was doing a, I had gone to an attorney's office uh, who does all of our seller finance closing, sub two closings for our dream partners and, and myself. And we were talking about coaching people and, 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 uh, and students. And I was talking about uh, what I, what we typically see is that uh, after even our dream partners, if they do say three, four or five deals, uh, they've got so much confidence, which is great, which is phenomenal. After four or five deals, they typically have so much confidence in, in the systems and the systems and the structure that they kind of go off on their own. And uh, whether that be then to do uh, to really ramp up the lease options on their own or to continue to do the lease options uh, on their own and then start doing multifamily or commercial or uh, rehabs, whatever the case may be. And so it's almost like a, a mama bird, <laughs> right? Uh, feeding the baby birds and teaching them how to fly. And the, the, after a while, after they've learned to fly, the, the baby birds leave the nest. It's almost like that. So it's kind of neat to see uh, the students do three, four or five deals and go, man, this has been phenomenal. Thank you, John. I got this now, right? Once they've learned how to duplicate the leasing by model after four or five deals, they tend to kind of go off on their own. Uh, and of course they'll stay in touch with this, uh, um, kind of like a child calling their parent from college. <laughs> they'll come back every now and then if they have a question, if they're working on a, whatever it may be, a land deal or a multifamily deal or whatever, uh, reach out to me um, if they have any questions or if I can put them in touch with someone. But typically after about four or five deals, we seem to just kind of go off uh, on their own, which is phenomenal, right? Um, it's a good question, Luke. Uh, John says, what if I don't want to leave the nest? We're going to kick you out no matter what. We're going to make you leave. Make the baby bird leave. <laughs> All right, let's get going here, guys. Uh, get all my notes here in front of me. So this is day four. We've covered a lot of stuff here. I'm going to share my slides here. Uh, share screen. I got to go to the window. Day four. Hit that. Hit multiple. And I'm going to look down here. I'm going to make sure. The screen is going here. Make sure we are full screen. All right, looks like we are. Looks like we're good to go. So, quick review. Then we're going to get into and then recover again the the steps to at least purchase uh, uh, assignment, lease option assignment. So again, super quick review. Uh, on day one, we talked about mindsets and beliefs, cash income and goal, your cash and your income goals. Uh, what do those look like? Is it $12,000 a month, $24,000 a month, whatever that cash goal is. But we kept, I kept referring back to mindset and beliefs. And this is so critical. Uh, as I dig more and more into uh, our students' success, the ones that are really successful and the ones we have to really work with to, to, get, to get them going, what's the difference in those students? And that's something I'm... I'm to be honest with you, I'm kind of fascinated by, and I've learned a lot about myself as well. And I've learned a lot about the things, how I process things and how I think uh, uh, about certain things like, uh, like money and, and income levels, et cetera. So we talked a lot about mindset and beliefs. Uh, we talked about what is a lease option, right? It's a lease with a separate option to purchase, gives the buyer uh, or the option, the right to buy a property at a set price before a certain time. We also talked about undercover billionaire. Guys, If you and I'm telling you, if you have not seen, and I haven't seen episode or season one yet, I'm going to, I may go back um, while I'm working later today and have that play in the background season 
uh, or uh, season one, maybe. But season two is what I saw with Grant Cardone and two other uh, uh, two females that were billionaires, very, very successful uh, entrepreneurs and business people. We talked about undercover billionaire. Write that down. If you write that down as your homework for this weekend, I, I hate to tell people to binge watch anything because there's so much so many better things to do, like uh, listening to audiobooks or reading or, or actually, you know, um, uh, taking action on something. But but certainly as as you can, maybe have it playing in the background as you're working, watch Undercover Billionaire. But don't watch it from the entertainment perspective. Watch it and and just observe how fast they are taking action. They see an opportunity, they create opportunities, and boom, they pounce on it with speed. They literally, you know, try to crack a door open a little bit. And as soon as that door opens up a little bit, boom, they bust through it. They're taking action. They're taking action so fast, it's literally bypassing the subconscious. So uh, phenomenal, some great, great lessons to be learned in there. And of course, Grant Cardone was talking about lease options, about how to lease option this entire commercial building, which lease options actually started uh, uh, in commercial real estate. Uh, matter of fact, my friend uh, Peter Conti, he and I have uh, done webinars about commercial real estate and how to use a master lease with a commercial property or with a, an apartment complex. So you can even use lease options with commercial property as well. Then we, had the, we saw the video from Robert Allen, the author of uh, One Minute Millionaire, the book that got me started. Uh, and he uh, also wrote uh, The Challenge. He wrote No Money Down. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal person, uh, and uh, just an incredible uh, dear friend of mine. Uh, but he he uh, talked about the um, the saying, the uh, committed saying, the until one is committed, there is hesitancy. And I want you to write that down as well. As well, I want you to uh, to write that down, and then later today I want you to Google that and print it off if you want to put it up on your wall over there by your desk, because that's so powerful. And you have to ask, I want you to ask yourself every day is, are you committed? Am I committed today to accomplish this? Am I committed today to move the needle? Am I committed today to move the needle? A good friend of mine, very good friend of mine, Tom Kroll, uh, made a post today on Facebook that I actually saved. And uh, it was it, he's a phenomenal business person and a wonderful, wonderful human being. But his post said, uh, it was a kind of a lengthy post, but in it, within that post, it said that preparation can be a form of procrastination. Preparation can be a form of procrastination. So many times people are getting ready to get ready. I'm getting ready to get ready, right? They're procrastinating. They are not committed. So I want you to ask yourself today on this masterclass, are you committed? Are you committed to move the needle? Buying business cards does nothing to move the needle. Nothing. Yes, business cards are fine. I don't remember the last time I had business cards. I honestly don't. Because people in the industry know me, right? Uh now, certainly they're fine, you know, uh, nothing against them, but don't think, oh, I'm going to order business cards and now I'm set. Now I got a business. No, you got some pieces of paper that nobody gives a crap about. What are you going to do today to move the needle? Are you committed? Right? Again, we talk about the mindset, about how your conscious brain will create these ideas, these desires. But then your subconscious is going to stamp them. Nope. Yeah, but. Yeah, but what if? Mm, denied, denied, denied. And the worst action you can take is the action where your subconscious marks an idea or desire with approved with caution. Approved with caution. Because that means your action is going to suck. And that means your results are going to suck. Let me do this for just one second here. All right, got that going. So I had to close in that window. <clears throat> so again, when your subconscious stamps an idea or desire that you have with approved with caution, your action's going to suck, your results are going to suck. This morning, yesterday I, I realized that on my vision board over there, 
we've got a, a house in Colorado. My wife wants a house in Colorado. I want a house in, um, uh, in Florida on the water with a, with a, uh, a boat, not a boat ramp, but a boat dock, uh, to take the boat out. So I've got that over there. I've got a session 206 on there. Uh, we've got a trip to Africa in 2023 when my stepdaughter graduates. So that's on the vision board. Uh, she wants a, uh, uh 2021, uh, uh, Defender, Land Rover, that's on there. And I realized two things that are on my list that I want to do and, and that I'm going to take action on like very, very quickly are on my vision board. So boom, I printed off a picture of uh, shark diving with great whites. I found a place to do that off California, put that on the vision board, print that off. I printed off a picture of hang gliding. I've never gone hang gliding, right? So I put that on the vision board and guess what's going to happen today after the VIP room, after the VIP room, <clears throat> I'm going to make a couple of phone calls. Where to go hang gliding. I've heard La Jolla is beautiful to go hang gliding. Where to go hang gliding and call about the shark diving. Take action. Take action so quickly that your subconscious cannot stamp it and go, yeah, but that's dangerous. What if you die? What if the hang glider breaks? What if the shark gets through the cage, right? You take action so quickly, your subconscious can't stamp it with anything you just boom, you take action. So when we talked about that, we talked about in day two, we talked about lease option assignments. One lease option assignments are where you are helping the seller that can't sell and the buyer that can't buy. You are assigning your contract. You don't have any risk. You're not making payments on the house. The houses don't need repairs. These are beautiful, pretty houses. And you're helping a seller that needs uh, that can't sell or having issues selling and a buyer that has issues uh, buying or wants time before they buy. So right here, I've got uh, one of my dream partners. Uh, we've got two price sheets right here that uh, I left messages. They, they need me to call the sellers on these. And that's what we do for, for our dream partners. Uh, we certainly step in uh, anytime needed and talk to the seller. So um, try to call them today and left messages uh, this morning. So I'll call them back today. I've got another one to call here that I sent numbers to on Tuesday that I uh, need to follow up with today. Um, I mean, the point is that these sellers are having issues selling and we are going to uh, help them with the buyers that uh, need a little bit of time to get finance. We also talked about, we showed a real deal. I showed you email number one, email number two, how does lease purchase help? And then seller, uh, uh, number two was um, uh, the seller price sheet, right? And you saw me you saw me send those to uh, the seller, the price sheet, and boom, email everything. Then yesterday we talked about multiple ways to market to sellers. And I even showed us some ways to pull over 30, 60, 90 listings to do direct mail. Uh, one of the ways that we market to sellers is we do direct mail to listed homeowners, right? We're one of the few people that do this. We send trifold brochures. We send everything. This is what our dream partners do. They send these trifold brochures. They send postcards, et cetera, to listed homeowners. And you can see, matter of fact, like here's one that one of our dream partners sent. Uh, hmm. Here's one that our dream partner sent. And you can see it's got the uh, certified affiliate uh, member of the leasing to buy. Certified member of uh, affiliate of leasing to buy. So our dream partners get the logo of the leasing of the uh, certified member of leasing to buy. So they get uh, our dream partners get to use our 18 years in the Better Business Bureau, our A plus rating, um, everything that we, we can give them uh, because it builds credibility. One of the issues that someone has when they're starting off in real estate is maybe they haven't done a deal yet. They have no credibility, right? Uh, so with what we bring to the table, the leasing to buy, they get to use our uh, uh, certified member of leasing to buy. They get a leasing to buy email address like uh, uh, Monica, Monica at leasing to buy uh, Frank at leasing to buy dot com, whatever that, you know, whatever your name is. But they so now we're helping them literally establish a business, a business because leasing to buy. Uh, uh, very early on, uh, I was going to franchise leasing to buy uh, and then um, spent well over $20,000 on franchise uh, documents and then started training people. Uh, and then soon after that, I just started training people and 
and uh, there you go. It's uh, grown into what it is now. But the point is that we have that kind of a cookie cutter uh, business in a box. So again, one of the ways that we market sellers is over 30, 60, 90. Uh, you can use Redfin and PropStream. Uh, for our dream partners, we use Property Snatcher, which is a platform that we've uh, uh, worked with and had built. And we're adding more and more functions to Property Snatcher. But I showed that yesterday as well. Uh, later on this training, I'm, I will be talking about the dream partners. Over this week, I've talked about the dream partners. I've talked about, uh, I've kind of teased with uh, one of the offers that uh, the offer that I'm going to make today, an offer I've never made before, not even to the people that are on my list, which is about thirty thousand people. Uh, and so we'll talk about that here in a little bit after we talk after we do the uh, the class discussion. But again, I want you to kind of wrap your head around this, get the mindset of the fact, and this is so true, that successful people decide quickly and adjust, right? They don't always know exactly what the outcome is going to be. They decide quickly and adjust. Unsuccessful people, they never decide. So they have nothing to adjust because they never did, they never took action. Why? Because the subconscious says, yeah, well, what if, what if you fail? And I don't know uh, if only, right? Now, we are only accepting 12 people, and I'll talk about this uh, here in a little bit. We're only accepting 12 people, period. And that's not some number I made up. That's absolutely true because Joe and I are very, very committed to only working with a small number of people because we feel like if, if someone's in a coaching program with 100 people or 120 people or whatever, there's just not going to be the support that you're looking for the support that you need in a true mentorship program right so we're keeping it 12 people that's it uh, again i've never made this offer to my list before uh, monday if we still have uh, any spots remaining i am opening this up to my list of thirty thousand people i will be sending out emails monday uh, uh, to surprise them and shock them with this offer that i'll be making to you first so we'll talk about that here in just a little bit Again, I was having a conversation earlier uh, with, a, with a gentleman, and you know, I was thinking as I look as I look to uh, next year, twenty twenty two, and what kind of what the vision is for me. And one of the part of the vision that I have, which is on my vision, which is on this board right over here, is to surround myself with people that make ten million or more a year eight figures or more a year. There's something about the term seven figures, seven figures in a year, or seven figure real estate, whatever, where to me, it's almost meaningless. Seven figures is nothing anymore. Um, yesterday, I was talking about how someone posted something that I think is so true. A million dollars a year is the new hundred thousand dollars a year. And I think that's so true. And it really struck me. Oh my God, that's right. Right. Making a hundred thousand dollars a year is, uh, is really, I mean, that's not difficult at all. If your mindset is right and you surround yourself with the right people. I highly suggest this. If you do not make a hundred thousand dollars a year, you better surround yourself with someone not that makes a hundred thousand a year, but you need to surround yourself with people that make half a million or a million dollars a year. You will be shocked at how the way you look at things, the way you perceive things, the way you th think about things and approach things changes dramatically after a short amount of time of hanging around people that make a million a year because they think about things differently. They process things differently. They look at things differently. They look at opportunities differently. Remember, I said successful people see an opportunity, opportunity, they decide quickly and adjust, right? So part of my goal, uh, what I'm going to be doing next year is hanging around, is being involved with these masterminds, where it's essentially people that are, that are doing uh, $10 million a year or more to bring myself up to a much higher level. So as I look at that, I'm like, you know what? This Today I was thinking about, you know what? What do you think? What do you think is easier to make $10 or $20? Did you know it literally takes about as much effort to make $20 as it does $10? It does. 
if I want to say make $10,000, right? I have to put in just as much effort to make a thousand dollars as I do ten thousand dollars. So why why would I set the bar so low to make a thousand dollars? Right? It literally takes as much energy and effort to make ten dollars as it does twenty dollars. That's why next year I'll be changing some of the things I do. And myself personally, I'm only going to work with those that want to make a minimum of a quarter million dollars a year. Because that, at least that's, that's, that's exciting. That means we can put a lot of gunpowder in the cannon. We can really crush it then, right? But I'll, you know, I'm not here to talk about that so much. But I want to take you back to, you know, it's, easy, it's just as easy to make 20 as it is $10. I've actually found, this is the honest truth, I've actually found it's easier for me to work with someone to help $100,000 than to make $10,000. There is a very, there's a, that goes back to the way we process things, the way we think about things, the way we approach things and the psychology there. You see, if someone just, if someone sees $10,000 as just a struggle and a hurdle, like, oh, I've got to fight to get this $10,000, they're approaching it totally wrong. They shouldn't be trying to make 10,000, they should be banging it to make $100,000, right? I'm going to make a hundred thousand dollars the next 60 days. Boom, boom, boom. Here's what I'm going to do. And they're going to, why? Because suddenly they're going after that goal, that desire with a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more gunpowder. They're not just putting a little bit of gunpowder in the cannon. They're packing that thing. Right. And so when you, when you go after just $10,000, I, th I think you, I think, well, I know that you limit yourself. You are dramatically restricting psychologically the excitement that you're going to have the power that you can put forth to hitting a goal you make that goal a hundred thousand dollars you're gonna knock it out of the park what if you're what if you boom you're banging to hit a hundred thousand dollars and you're halfway wrong you you you, you come in halfway short okay we made fifty thousand dollars but you're gonna find it was a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable to make that fifty thousand than than uh, uh, ten thousand dollars Some really powerful stuff to think about there. Now we'll talk about, I'm going to recap here on the steps to a lease option assignment. As you could probably tell, I can talk about mindset and, and achievement and goals all day long. It gets me fired up. <laughs> I find now that I'm speaking more on different stages, like next week I start going a speaking tour on multiple stages and I'm speaking about uh, mindset and about goals. I am talking about lease options, but about mindset and guru mindset and everything. But I want to go back and uh, hit the, the, the steps to a lease option assignment. And then I want to talk about the timing of the market. Where are we now in this market? What does that look like? And why you are in the exact right place where you are supposed to be. There's a reason you are here. And the timing could not be better. First, let's talk about the steps to a lease option assignment. So these are the steps right here. Market is seller. And that marketing may be texting for sale by owner. It may be text calling for rent by owners or for sale by owners. It may be doing direct mail to listed houses. It might be driving for dollars. That's how I found the first two houses I ever found driving for dollars. I saw one that was for sale by owner and another one that was for sale by a home investor franchisee. But you're going to market to these sellers. And when the sellers call you, you're going to do what? You're going to send email number one. You saw me do that yesterday. Then right after that, you're going to put the price sheet together, just like this one. You're going to put the price sheet together with that pre-drafted email, and you're going to send that to the seller. Then what you do, you call the next day. So today I am calling uh, that gentleman. Where is his lead? Today I'm calling that gentleman with the, uh, the house that I sent the numbers on. And I think it's over my folder here. Let's see here. Here's a... Yep, Chris Kern. So you saw me do this yesterday, or was that Tuesday? It was Tuesday, then he emailed me yesterday. 
So today I'm going to call Chris Turn, who lives now in, in Virginia, has a house in Houston, $450,000 house. And I'm going to call him today to follow up with him. Here's another lead I've got uh, on a house uh, also in Houston, just so happened that way, that I think we're going to take over subject two. So again, uh, I send the price sheets. Then I call the seller. So I'm going to call that uh, that seller today. That other one I've already talked to today. Hey, do you have any questions about the, uh, I sent some preliminary numbers. Do you have any questions uh, that I can help you with? Another thing that's good, uh, how, let me ask you though, how fast can you normally find somebody? When they ask how fast can you find somebody, what are they asking? How fast can you bring the fajitas? Right? Then I put the contracts together. Very simple to do. Bap, 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 bap. Send the contracts. Make sure that you see if there are any questions about the contracts. Nope, looks good. I then go to market the property. I use leasingtobuy.com, our website. Our dream partners use leasingtobuy.com. We put signs in the art if applicable. Uh, our signs drive a lot of traffic uh, to the houses. Uh, we then market on Facebook uh, Marketplace. Uh, my VAs would then take the leads, the, the, the listings that our dream partners have, and post on multiple, multiple websites, uh, including uh, syndication sites like Fizzburn, and Zumper, and, and uh, all those. We then market the property. The sellers call us, or they call the dream partners. Hey, it's come about that house on Main Street. Yep, it's still available. It's uh, 400000 25000 down, you know, whatever a month. Uh, we, leasing to buy, then process all the applications that come in from the buyers. We do that for our dream partners. A huge, massive benefit there. It's huge relief to our dream partners to know that we're right there to process the applications for them. So we process the application. We pull a trial merge report. We, we look at debt to income, everything. Let the dream partner know, yep, it looks fantastic. You're good to go. And then... The dream partner goes out and closes the deal and they collect their money. So like today, I think today, yeah, today, Teresa, you may have seen on the coach's corner the other day, Teresa is uh, uh, going to meet with the seller. Uh, she's uh, getting the contract. She's doing all this in person because the, the sellers are, it sounds like a little bit older and maybe a little bit of a language barrier. I'm not sure. And we meet the sellers, then meet the buyers. And so today or tomorrow, she's getting uh, the money wired to her account. On that particular deal, it's a $23,000 or $23,500 deal, her very first deal. So obviously she's uh, super, she's nervous, excited and everything, right? So uh, like yesterday or day before in the VIP call, I, I called her and walked her through the steps. But these right here in front of you are the steps to a lease option assignment. Okay, very simple steps. Now, having said that, although these steps are simple, you know what else is simple? Cooking a hamburger. Cooking a hamburger is very easy. Anybody watching this right now can cook a hamburger. But can you sell millions of hamburgers or even thousands of hamburgers? See, it's easy to cook a hamburger, but what if you want to make money at it? Well, wouldn't it be easier to get a McDonald's franchise to buy into a system so you can make that money rather than trying to sell hamburgers off your grill at home and do it all alone? Of course it is. So that's what we offer with the Dream Partner Program. That's where leasing to buy comes in, the power of leasing to buy, 18 years of experience. A plus rating, the Better Business Bureau, uh, and we we give you credibility. We give we give our dream partners that credibility that they need. Now I want to talk about surfing for a second. I want to talk about surfing. I'm making notes here. Let's talk about surfing for a second. First of all, here's a, uh, one of my dream partners just closed a uh, $13,000 um, seller finance wrap that came off of a lease option marketing piece. I helped him close that deal. Uh, and uh, here's the, we JV'd with him on it. He just, he's got that. So super excited for Jeff there. But let's talk about surfing here for a second. Now, what does surfing have anything to do with real estate? Well, has to do with the timing in real estate. 
Now, my background years and years and years ago was the stock market. I traded stocks. I traded options on the stock market. So as I got into real estate, something I realized is that all markets are cyclical. All markets are cyclical. They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. And you start to learn where you are in the market, right? And, I, and so I've been in real estate since 2003. So I've seen all the cycles, right? 2006, 2007, boom, as it was going up. And then 2008, pff, crash, right? By the way, in 2008, when the market was crashing, leasing to buy did phenomenally well. Phenomenally well. Why? Because lease options are one of the best strategies in a down market. More and more sellers look for a plan B. So let's talk about surfing. Now, if you've ever watched a surfing competition on TV, you'll see the surfers out there in the water on their boards, and they're just kind of waiting and hanging out, hanging out. Um, and then you'll see one or two of them, they start to paddle, and they paddle faster and faster. And you don't see anything except these people paddling kind of fast on a surfboard. And then, boom, you see this wave building up behind them. And next thing you know, they're just like this surfer. They're in front of the wave. Well, that wave wasn't there when they started paddling, but they knew it was, they knew the water, how the water was coming back. They knew that water, there was a, that wave was coming. The point is they had to start paddling to catch that wave before it was to this point. If you start paddling at this point, you're already hosed. You've missed the wave. So you would got to know when to start paddling. And right now in real estate, it's time to start paddling because the market is it's already pulling back. We're seeing a lot more numbers on 30, 60, 90. If you remember yesterday when I was showing Property Snatcher and I looked at the state of Florida for houses listed over 90 and it was, what was that number? It was like 5,000 something houses on the market listed for over 90 days in the state of Florida. But John, that can't be. Yeah, it can't be, John. Florida's a hot market. Houses don't last two days out there in Florida. Really? Well, tell that to the 5,000 some odd people that have been standing there with their arms crossed for 90 days or more wanting enchiladas, but nobody's offering them fajitas. So again, you've got to be paddling before you're to this point. The, the, the market is softening. It's pulling back. It's time to be paddling your butt off, meaning you've got to get into lease options today. You've got to make this happen. In real estate, when you have pockets within cities, pockets in the United States, pockets within cities, where buyers simply don't give a crap that they're paying so much more for the house than what the owner is asking, the house will never appraise, not in their lifetime. And they just don't give a crap, right? When you have pockets where buyers are willing to pay more than the house will ever appraise for, they simply don't care that they have to literally sign a waiver at the title company at closing stating that they don't give a crap. Yeah, I'm going to pay more than it's ever going to appraise for. Uh, okay, um, uh, we need you to sign this document saying that you're an idiot. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. They've got to do that at closing when they do that. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. I got to sign. I got to sign this waiver that I'm an idiot. Okay. When you have waves of buyer that are, that are doing that, you should be paddling as fast as humanly possible in the real estate market because the wave is coming. You as the investors on this Facebook masterclass need to be paddling as fast as you can to get into lease options because the wave is coming, it's building up underneath you. You saw it yesterday when I pulled that over 90 in Florida, took a, took me seconds to pull up that list. Oh, 5,000 some odd houses over 90 in Florida. You saw how fast I did that, right? Guys, it is already softening dramatically. As these buyers with all this extra cash run out, as we go into the winter months where the market softens anyway, right? And with, you know, with the government we have now, you know, just destroying everything, guys, the market is, it's, it's I, I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be as bad as 08 or not. I, I don't know. I know we have four, we had uh, forbearances that we didn't have in 08, 
right? So the market is, is, is crashing. You need to be paddling as fast as you can to get into lease options uh, right now, right? And I don't know if uh, any of y'all on this call remember, uh, for example, um, uh, I'll just pick a toy, uh, Furbies. I don't know if you remember Furbies. That was back in the nine, 90s, I guess. A little toy Furby. Uh, or pick any toy. I'll just use Furby as an example where there is an absolute mad rush to get maybe as an Elmo doll or a Furby. People were stomping on people in Target or uh, Toys R Us or whatever to get the Furby or get the Elmo doll. Oh, and they were pay they'd, they'd buy them up in bulk, sell them on eBay or whatever for a stupid profit. People didn't care that this you know $10 doll or toy that they were paying $200, $500 for. I don't care. It's going to have it. And then that goes away and then nobody wants, nobody wants the damn Elmo anymore. Nobody cares about the Furby anymore, right? That's what happens in real estate though. When you have this onslaught of idiots going, oh, I'll pay more than it's ever going to praise for. And they're not using common sense and those buyers go away. Boom. The market comes down. The wave is coming. You've got to be paddling as fast as you can to get into lease options today. Guys, I mean, it's all in the headlines. You know, the, the millions of Americans that didn't pay their mortgages or really you know, landlords that have gone for a year without getting their rents. You talk about a bunch of tired landlords. If you did nothing but market to tired landlords, oh my God, that is, that's a business right there. You just market to them with, with least long. Hey, Mr. Landlord, I see you've got five properties. You may be tired of having them. Let's, uh, let's, help you out with those. Let's get you top dollar with the lease option. You see, uncertainty causes fear. And with fear and uncertainty, prices drop. Days on market go up and more and more sellers need a plan B. More and more sellers need a plan B. So this is the wave you're preparing for. Guys, you've got to get involved today with lease options. I know this we've had a lot of stuff in this masterclass, covered a lot of stuff, but it's one thing to sit there at your computer or on your phone or whatever and, and, and watch and observe. It's time to take action and start paddling. Now you may go, you know, for the, anybody on here that's doubting whether lease options really work, you know, because I've this is the fourth day I've been talking, and I, for uh, I've had uh, the the master class, the VIP, the coach's corner, and I haven't really shown you know most gurus show a bunch of checks, and I really haven't. Um, so for those of you that you know just get your thrills out of seeing checks, here you go, boom, 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 uh, uh, la, 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 la. there's a bunch of checks for you. Okay, a bunch of reviews about the Dream Partner Program. I will stop on this though. So Cameron and his mom, there's a whole story behind this, but Cameron and his mom, his mom uh, and dad were in, in real estate, but it, really, it was the mom and the son that were trying to work the real estate. Um, and the mother, well, the mother and the, the family got into the little dream partner program. Didn't know anything about real estate. They literally, you know, they spent 50, they spent, they just spent 50, thousand dollars on one of these national big box companies to get into their coaching program. They said the support was absolutely horrific. It felt like it was, you know, they got one or two good things out of it. They said the rest was an absolute waste of time. Then they got, then they, they found me speaking at an expo. They came on board with the dream partner program. I structured their business, helped them structure their business the way it needed to be. Uh, put them in contact uh, with the right people, help them start doing lease options. Uh, and then, of course, put them in touch with uh, eventually, uh, now her, she's doing apartments and everything. It's phenomenal. But here's a, a text message that her son, Cameron, sent me. It says, uh, thank you for sending out that trifle campaign. It just turned into a big check. I helped him with a trifle campaign. I even paid for it because they had done a mailing and they did it totally wrong. And I felt bad for him. So I said, you'll, you'll screw this up. So I did a small mailing for them to San Antonio. He said, and the son said, Cameron said, thank you for sending that out. It just turned into a big check. Then Cameron, after closing these deals, uh, had sent off these, this mailing. They got a, a portfolio, I think, of five houses out of it. Um, 
Cameron then took a, a screenshot of his bank account after these deals closed, sent to his mom, and his mom sent it to me saying, look at the, you've made, you've changed the path of my son's life and, and hers. So this is the screenshot that Cameron sent to his mom. Now, guess how old Cameron is? 23 years old. Cameron is 23 years old. He did $159,000. Uh, he's 23 years old. Stop making excuses. It's time to start paddling, guys. Stop making excuses. Stop saying, yeah, but what if, if only. Stop making excuses. So I want to talk about the dream partners here, running a little bit short on time. I want to talk about the dream partners here. I know I've been uh, teasing you all with it. I want you right now to get a pen and write this down, thedreampartners.com. You have, I want you to write that down. So what is the dream partners? Where did it even develop from? Uh, go back a number of years ago. I was doing a number of deals per year and people started hearing about me and finding out about me. And then they would reach out to me saying, Hey, John, can you, can you coach me? Can you teach me? At that time I was trying to franchise leasing to buy, but I said, yeah, I can, I can help you. I can coach you. And so I would charge them to come to my house or I'd on a couple of occasions, I went to them and I'd spend a couple of days with them, showing them everything, showing them how to duplicate the leasing to buy model. And, um, and I had uh, a couple of people that are now very well known in the industry that came to me, spent a couple of days with me and I showed them how to duplicate my business model. And they've gone on now and they actually have their own podcast that are, they're phenomenal, uh, coaches and mentors and very good friends of mine too. And so from there, I started coaching people. Then in about 2014, 15, yeah, 2014, 15, I want to say. The big box boys found me. You know, the big box boys out of Utah. Some of y'all on this call have probably invested 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars with some of these companies. Well, they found me. They said, Hey, we heard you're the guy. You're the guy that has been teaching these people lease options. You're the guy that's been teaching these other educators lease options. You're like the Yoda of lease options, I guess, is what one of them referred me to, referred to me as. Anyway, they said, we love what you're doing, love what you do, but we could try to make a lot more money. And we could make this, we could blow this thing up. And I got to admit, I was at a difficult point in my life, had a lot of things going on. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, and I allowed them to uh to basically manage me and part of that was a big part of that was um the coaching that we sold they said nope well we love what you're doing here but no no you got to do a sixty thousand dollar package which i'm okay with someone charging sixty thousand dollars um it's not that it's that is we gotta you gotta charge sixty thousand dollars that's six zero comma zero 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 sixty thousand dollars uh and you gotta do this this and this and so for, I don't know, a couple of years, however long, a few years, uh, I was doing that and I was miserable going on stage, selling a $60,000 coaching program. And the bottom line is, is just to make the big box company money. And the whole time I'm like, no, that's not what these people need. I can help them be successful and they don't need all that crap that you're trying to give them. They don't need it. So uh, it turned really ugly. Yeah, in uh, twenty, uh, yeah, in twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen, and uh, ended up firing them. Uh, had a had an absolute complete mental breakdown in San Antonio one time because uh, I was like, "This is miserable." Because if you're not living uh, up to your standards, your moral and ethical standards, it will it will, it will crush you. And I felt like this was wrong, what they were doing, what they were selling. So then uh, a little bit after that, I had brought on someone else to help me and realized that they were taking me down that same path. 
I was miserable. And at the end of 2019, uh, Tamara Aragon and I uh, were meeting uh, at a big event in Tampa. We went to Clearwater, Florida, and I said, you know, here's, here's what's going on, blah, blah, blah. She said, we need to put something together. And so we put the dream partners together. I fired the people that were working for me. Um, uh, that were taking me down that horrible path again. We created the dream partners. And within the dream partners, we I said, the first thing I said, it was, okay, it was a, like a clean slate. I said, what, what is it that I don't want in a coaching program? What is it that students do not need in a coaching program? And let's get rid of that, right? Uh, and then what are the things that I know that they need? What are the things that I want in the coaching program? And that is where the dream partner program started developing from. Um, uh, for example, one of the things I do that we do now with the dream partners is we JV with our students. We JV with them until we hit forty thousand dollars in profits as quickly as possible. And I didn't used to JV with people, and I realized that there's a, a, a major shift there when your coach, when your mentor is JVing with you on the deal, because you've got skin in the game and they've got skin in the game. So imagine if you wanted to lose 10 pounds in 30 days and you go out and get a personal trainer and that personal trainer says, okay, fine. Well, uh, I'm going to train you. And you go to the gym and the personal trainer is really just, he's just writing in a notebook. Okay. You did this much weight and blah, blah, blah. There's no, there's nothing there. But if you hire a trainer that says, Hey, you want to lose 10 pounds? I want to lose 10 pounds. Let's do this together. Now suddenly that trainer is invested in you and themselves, and they're going to push you and push you and push themselves to hit that goal. So now we JV with our dream partners to get you across that finish line as quickly as possible. I'll show you a couple of videos here. One of the things we that we absolutely love is twice a year, we have a mastermind where we get the dream partners together for two days and we dive deep into businesses. So let me show you these. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of videos here. So you definitely want to watch these. And I'm going to hit my audio here. We have a mastermind where we get the dream partners. Enjoy the event very much because I was able to meet all our team members in person and I believe that networking is uh, very powerful and yeah it really was a, a fun event too and you know John is always laughing and throwing out jokes so it's always entertaining as well so it was very valuable. I thought the event was great uh, John um, and Joe did some great uh, education as well as the opportunity to meet with other uh, dream partners was, was fabulous. Collaborating with them, finding what works, what doesn't work, and uh, ways I can improve my business. It's fun, it's, it's laid back, it's, uh, but uh, you get solid content that, uh, that you know, hopefully is gonna, gonna progress our, our businesses forward and, and push us to the, to the next level. I mean, it was just so exciting to be here. The speakers, were amazing. Everything were, was amazing. I can't say anything bad about it. Oh, the event's been great. It's very personable. Um, you can ask um, John any questions and he'll answer the questions. It's a great way to network with uh, other fellow dream partners. And um, yeah, it's just been really great. Very informative to a lot of great guests. Networking with um, other dream partners with John Jackson's group has been awesome um, because successful people make quick decisions quickly and adjust accordingly. Uh, I thought the event was great. Um, got to meet up with uh, some of our fellow dream partners that we only really get to talk to on the phone and, and really get to meet everybody, get to talk to Joe and John and build those relationships. So it's been a really really nice experience. I loved it. Um, it's very inspiring. It um, kind of helps you come out of your shell and it gives you like a new perspective on what you can be doing to improve. So this was really a, a great event. It's my first uh, real estate mastermind with John Jackson and company. Obviously the education portion, portion of it was great. Guest speakers, phenomenal. But really it was the camaraderie in the room, meeting the, the, the team and stuff that he has, but also meeting the other people that are in the program, the other coaching students and the other people that were attending the mastermind. Great networking event. I got a ton out of it from all different facets. I'm super excited about it. To be able to just 
really hang out and learn together and brainstorm together was incredible and very valuable. So if you're not here today, you better be on the next one. All right, what's up guys? Uh, we're in the last video of a series of a, uh, I call it Grubhub to Real Estate. Do you like that? Okay guys, listen, um, I will let you know, I did mortgage industry for 10 years. Yeah, well, no, 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 you yeah. did, you did. But I did, the, so the, the point is, don't, no, 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 don't get past the, the point is, is, it's a great story. No, it is. Because so many people can relate. I know, no, so I wanted to pursue real estate investing. So Grubhub and DoorDash were my side hustle and I was so tired of sitting behind a desk nine to five. I make good money. But I was like, I'm going to pursue this full time so I can pursue real estate full time. So that's what I did. So I'm just letting you guys know, it makes me want to tear up because I'm like, I drove DoorDash and Grubhub. I sucked it up and I freaking did it. And uh, if I can do it, you can. That's absolutely right. And uh, just close the deal for 10000 Next week, we're going for 12000 Yes. And $22,000, uh, guys, in a week. Woo! Yep. And uh, that's a lot of Grubhubbing. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of DoorDashing. Yep. Yeah. Um, All right, John Jackson here, lease option class with guess who? Jose, Jose Campos. Jose Campos. Yay, yay, yay. I don't know why I say that. I just like, say, I just like making that noise. That's Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh, suddenly Jose is. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. That's. <laughs> what do Puerto Ricans do? Do they make Wepa. a noise? What do they do? Wepa. Wepa. For Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just uh, about to wrap up this house here. Uh, your second lease option deal. Yes. Out here in Rockwall, a nice little $23,500 uh, assignment fee. And uh, this one was easier than the first one. Uh, less showings, right? Less showings because it's a more expensive home. So yeah, less showings, less phone calls. And uh, pretty, like it's pretty standard yeah, now, isn't it? It's pretty straightforward, this one, you know. A few people asking, you know, trying to find out about the house and you know I think this guy was like the fourth uh, inquiry about yeah. the house and in three weeks we have a tenant buyer in it so Huepa! Huepa! Am I saying that right? Huepa! <laughs> yeah. Huepa! I'm gonna look that up. What does that even mean? <laughs> Huepa! Someone's calling in there. What does that just Huepa? Huepa! Why is this a noise? Okay. Ay 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 ay! Huepa! <laughs> <laughs> All right so uh, uh, so the bottom line is uh, you know, even for, for someone starting off in real estate, because you had tried to do wholesaling for a while yep. and you just got frustrated with it. And I get that a lot where a lot of people that come to us for, for training and learning about lease options, they've tried wholesaling, tried and tried and tried, and they just get frustrated sending out a ton of uh, mailings and doing this and that, and uh, it just gets to be frustrating. So, uh, yes, the lease option's a lot easier. It's way easier, easy negotiation, you know, yep. it's very yep. straightforward. Set her happy, buy her happy. You know. Everybody's happy, and uh, the and what do you think about the? What do you think? What do you think about your coach? <clears throat> My coach, well, you know, <laughs> it's good guy. Is el mayor? He's a good guy. Is el mayor? <laughs> For those of you who don't speak Puerto Rican, that's best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Es el mejor. Es el me <laughs> no mayor, mejor. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. All right, I've got more and more uh, videos to show, but I know we're uh, we got to get to the VIP here in a second. But uh, uh, yeah, it's again, guys, it's so uh, uh, important that you um, take action today. That you literally take action today. Um, but the question is, are you committed? You know, are you committed uh, to take action? And one of the things I want to show you right now is, uh, if I could, very quickly, I'm going to show you. Uh, if I've got it here in front of me here, I'm going to show you very quickly. I'm going to share this screen with you because people always wonder, well, what's, what's included in the dream partner program? The question is really what's not included. I'm going to spend just not even 60 seconds going through. That. Now, when you go to the dreampartners.com, what's going to happen is it's, uh, you're going to, it takes, literally like two minutes to fill out the application, thedreampartners.com. We're only taking 12 people. That's it. 
And because we are going to limit how many people we can get into the Dream Partner program, we do that on purpose. We're one of the very, very few people that will limit it to that number nationwide. But I do want to share this with you. Very quickly, here is when you get on, when you apply for the Dream Partner program, you will then get a calendar link to uh, schedule a time to talk to my strategy. Uh, um, Maricela or Tim, and they'll get on the phone with you, talk to you about what your goals or what your desires are. And then you'll get on the phone with uh, Tamara or Susie, and they're going to talk about uh, the one on one coaching you get with me. That's that jumpstart call that we have. And I'm just going to go through this very quickly because of time. You get bi weekly calls every other week. You have a call with me. But here's something we're doing different that nobody else is doing in the industry is two times a day. Two times a day, every day, Monday through Friday, Joe Seski, my coach, has coaching times, which means you could literally meet with your coach 10 times in a week. That is unheard of. You got a question on a seller price sheet, get on the get on the coaching call. Uh, you have a seller you need to talk to, jump on the coaching call because you have two opportunities a, a day to talk to Joe. Uh, we use Slack to communicate with our students. Uh, you can reach out to Joe, uh, you know, twenty four seven. Live masterminds twice a year. You just saw the video on that. Uh, business mindset. Oh, every Monday, Patrick Precourt, who charges over five thousand dollars to work with big companies and and people to help improve their businesses. I've worked out a, a arrangement with Patrick Precourt. Every Monday goes live into our Dream Partner Facebook group to talk about business and mindset and uh, just phenomenal. I've also worked out a deal with uh, uh, one of our uh, uh, sponsors, Prime Corporate Services. They will give you an hour free consultation to talk about your LLC. If you don't have an LLC, they'll help you set it up at their cost. That's un unheard of. You get access to all of our marketing portals, uh, our website, leasing to buy. You get leasing to buy email address. You get to use our automated uh, Zillow scraper and, and texting platform, our direct mail platform, uh, everything. If you need a logo, you, again, we get your email address, uh, our training of working with agents, how to work with listed houses, uh, marketing for sellers, course, and of course, the operation. Manual. It's literally, if you were to buy all this separately, it's 100 thousand dollars which sounds insane and stupid but that's just literally uh everything that you get access to it is a uh, crazy everything that we're giving here now again what you want to do is you want to go to the dreampartners.com the dreampartners.com uh we're letting 10 people uh, 12 people i'm sorry into the program now here's the thing let me show you this the dreampartners.com i just showed you the benefits really quickly i'm trying to be quick here what you want to do is you want to go to the URL above and apply thedreampartners.com. Now, what's the investment you have to make? Now, listen to this. It's $9,800, then $495 a month until you uh, decide you've done enough deals, uh, you're ready to leave the nest. That's up to you. $9,800 and then $495 a month. Now, what I didn't say is, I didn't, and I didn't ask you, do you have $9,800? Just apply. Because believe it or not, we actually have if you need it, we actually have financing in place for almost all of you. It just depends. But again, we're only, we're only taking 12 people. But our goal is to JV as quickly as possible on $40,000 worth of profits so that at the very minimum, you'll double your money as quickly as possible. But here's something I've never done before. Here's what my, my entire team thought I was crazy for. Here's the thing. Here's my offer to you because I know I'm so committed to you and your success. And I know the power of what we bring to the table. I know what Joe Seski can do, my coach. Here's how committed I am. My offer to you is this. If you send 90 seller price sheets, which is simply these, 90 of these in 90 days, which if you do the math, that's one a day. Do you think you can talk to one seller a day? If you send one of these a day, 90 seller price sheets in 90 days, price sheets that Joe and I have approved and that you have sent to the seller. And if in 90 days after sending 90 price sheets, you still do not have a contract, I will re personally refund you everything that you've invested in the Dream Partner Program. And I will personally bring you under my wings and I will continue to work with you for free until we get you a contract. This is a cannot lose offer. 
send 90 price sheets in 90 days. If you don't have a contract, I will refund you everything you put into the Dream Partner program, which means I'm going to take a massive loss because I'm, uh, I've paid uh, uh, my staff, I've paid Joe, and I'm okay with that. I will refund you everything personally, and I will continue to work with you until we get you a contract. All right, I'm that committed. This is a cannot lose offer because our goal is to get you double your in investment as quickly as possible. But if you do everything we tell you to do and it doesn't work, I'll refund everything that you've invested into it. I've never done that before. And here's the thing, I never offered this to my list of 30,000 people. So go to the URL above, write that down, thedreampartners.com. You're going to put in your information. It takes about two minutes to just get us your information. Then you go to a calendar link, schedule your call with Maricela or Tim. They'll jump on the phone with you, schedule that call, and they're going to talk to you. What are your goals? What are your desires? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Because believe me, I've actually been on jumpstart calls with people. And after the first call, I was like, this is not a fit for you. This is not a fit for you. I'm very picky. I'm very blessed. I can be very picky about who I get to work with. And I have refunded people money. Saying, God, I wish you the best. I'm not your guy. Right. So they're going to have that call with you. And then Susie or Tamara are going to Zoom call with you, talk to you, and, uh, and see if it is a fit for you. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But they know I can be picky because I'm only taking 12 people. And again, my offer to you is this send me, send Joe or I 90 seller price sheets in 90 days. And if you don't have a contract, I will refund you what you put into the Dream Partner program. Boom, done. And then I will personally bring you underneath my wings. And you and I are going to bust it together to get you a contract as fast as possible. Right? This is a cannot lose offer. You cannot, this is a no brainer offer. There is literally nothing to lose here. But, we are only accepting 12 people because we will not work with a mass group of people. We're not going to do it because that uh, takes away from the coaching and the, and the intimacy and the personalization of it. So we're only taking on 12 people, period. I've never made this offer before, never. I've never made this offer to my list of 30, over 30,000 people. But here's the thing. Uh, Monday, this entire group comes down. This Facebook group comes down Monday. I've never closed it before, but it's closing down Monday. And next week, I'm blasting this offer out to my list of over 30,000 people. So the question is, are you going to be at the front of the line? Are you going to be at the front of the line to even have that discussion about the Dream Partner Program? Are you going to be at the front of the line to even have that discussion about, well, maybe you don't have all the 9800, the investment right now. Okay, well, guess what? We have uh, sol solutions for you. We have funding for you. If, you. if you need that even, we can work something out with you. If you need that, if you're committed. And the question is, are you committed? Again, successful people decide quickly and adjust. Unsuccessful people never decide. Right now, some of you are going, yeah, but what if, uh, what if I don't have all the investment to, to work with you, John? You haven't even, you haven't even applied yet. You haven't had that conversation yet. Stop putting up walls that you're putting up yourself. I'm not putting up any wall to at least have a conversation with you to see if you're a fit, right? So don't ask, yeah, but if only, what if? Stop asking how and ask who. How can I do this? How about who can help you? Well, Joe and I can help you. My entire team can help you. Remember, I showed you that some people think that $100,000 in a year is impossible. Some think that $100,000 a month is a bad month, right? Choose wisely who influences your thoughts. If you want to make $100,000 a year, you should be around uh, people like myself and the people I hang around that do a million a year, right? Put yourself around other people that are at a level that you want to be at. You've got to get out of your comfort zone if you're going to grow. Again, thedreampartners.com. Thedreampartners.com. We're taking on 12 people. That's it. That's all we're doing. 12 people, my entire list, uh, if we still have any spots available by Monday, uh, I am blasting this out to over 30,000 people on my email list. So again, the question is, are you going to be at the front of the line to have that conversation, to see what the Dream Partners program is like, to have that conversation, to see how we can work with you. If you want to, but you need a little bit of help on the, 
on the on the investment. Let's have that conversation, right? Let's make this happen together. But don't build a wall up uh, and think, well, I, John probably won't pick me. He probably can't work with me. You don't know. You don't know. You've got to go to the dreampartners.com. We're taking 12 people. That's it. This is a no. You cannot lose on this offer. If you do what Joe and I tell you to do, if you get 90 price sheets out in 90 days that we approve and you send to sellers and you don't have a contract, I will refund everything you've invested into the Dream Partner program. And I will still personally continue to work with you until you get a contract. We do deals. That's all there is to it. We do deals. All right. I'm about 12 minutes late for the VIP room. I hope everybody wrote that down, thedreampartners.com. You owe it to yourself. You've now spent four days on this masterclass. Do not let that time go to waste. If you're in the VIP room, now you've spent two hours with me. If you've been on the coach's corner, you spent three hours a day this week learning about lease options and learning what we bring to the table, learning how we help you, learning how we help people achieve greatness. You owe it to yourself to at least explore that opportunity. The Dream Partners dot com again everything comes down monday this entire group comes down monday the videos the the downloads everything comes down monday uh and then on monday if we still have some room for the dream partners we will blast this out to my list of over thirty thousand people so the question is whether you're going to be at the front of the line to at least have that conversation thank you so much uh i'm going to hop over to the vip now everybody that's in vip i'll see you over there in about 45 seconds uh, go to the Zoom link. I'll see you there. Take care, everybody.